Hey YouTube, welcome back with another episode on how to open up your prep school the right way. In today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that is going to make your prep school fail. There are probably hundreds or if not maybe thousands of prep schools that open up every day, but they last very, very short, meaning they may last three months, two months, one month, um, six months, just because they don't know how to operate the business and how to keep it going, how to keep the clientele happy, things of that nature. So I created this graph back here, as you can see behind me, and I'm going to go through some of the most common things that when you go on this journey as an entrepreneur and when you're trying to achieve um, aspirations for yourself and help others and things of that nature, this is a common graph that I see uh, from most prep school owners, okay? So with that being said, let's jump right into it and we'll get more in detail, okay? This is gonna be a short and sweet video. So the first thing that I like, that I tend to see from people who want to go into the entrepreneurship and start their own prep school is I see uninformed optimism, okay? Uninformed optimism. I hope you guys can see that. If it's a little bit blurry, um, you know, excuse my handwriting. So this is called uninformed optimism, okay? This is when you see the idea of opening up your prep school and you're like, oh man, this is a great idea. Why didn't I think about this a long time ago? I know a lot of people that's opened up a prep school. I could have been done this. Let me get into this. I can make a lot of money. I can do this. I can do that, right? So this, this is typically the first stage is uninformed optimism, right? The second step is going to be informed pessimism. Pessimism. I'm sorry. Informed pessimism. Hope I spelled that right. <laughs> Not the greatest spelling bee. Um, so in, uh, informed pessimism. Okay. At this stage of your journey, this is when you um, are a little informed about the business, and now you're starting to realize, like, hey, this is you know not as easy as I thought it may be. Right. Um, there's some things that popped up that I never thought would pop up. Um, things, you know, of you know, people asking for refunds. People are doing some things of that nature. How to protect your business? How to protect your entity? Right. Um, how to provide them the right documents to protect your entity, to protect your money, to protect yourself and your business moving forward. Right. So there's a lot of little details that you come across. Um, and this is basically in, informed pessimism where you basically are learning this on the fly, right? This is where people really get uh, stressed out. And then right here is the Valley of Doom. Okay, this is called the Valley of Doom. This is when people are at their lowest point. This, this point right here in the journey of entrepreneurship is when people quit the most. OK, so a lot of times what people do here is people will go um, start here and then start a whole new journey. OK, thinking that there's going to be a different outcome and they start all over again from square one. And they think, oh, you know what? This is not working. Forget this. There's a lot of problems. There's a lot of things I didn't know about this business. Let me go jump to another shiny object. Let me start another business venture because this one doesn't work out. It's too hard. I don't want to do this and things of that nature. Guys. Just letting you know now, no matter what business you decide to operate, whether you want to pursue opening up your own prep school or wanting to open up your own bank or whatever you want to do, this is going to be a consistent graph, consistent problem that you're always going to have. OK, when you get down to the valley of doom, this is when we come into play. This is when I come into play. You're going to need us. OK, to help you out here. OK, I've already went through this process. I went through the Valley of Doom. I achieved all the way to the top to success. So this is the part where you're going to need some mentorship. This is the part where you're going to need uh, people like myself and our team who can help you get through this Valley of Doom. OK, most people, they hear the idea of opening up a prep school and they kind of run with the idea. They're like, oh, OK, you know, um, thank you for the information. I don't need you anymore. I might watch one or two videos. I'm going to go do it by myself now. I don't need you. That was a great idea. Thank you. And they think they're going to figure it out. But it's <laughs> it's a lot more complicated than you think. Right. There's a lot of ins and outs. There's a lot of small things that you're going to run into while doing this business. And this is where most people quit. OK. After informed pessimism, they get to the Valley of Doom. They're like, forget this. I don't want no part to this. This is hard, harder than I thought. I don't want to do this anymore, right? So this is where we come in. This is where when you have a mentor, it's going to take you over the top, okay? If you can get past this stage, okay, 
The next step is going to be informed. Pessimism. Okay? That's going to be the next step. I'm sorry. Not pessimism. Optimism. Sorry about that. Inform optimism, okay? So at this point in time, this is when you're going to realize like, oh, okay, I know a little bit more about the business. I'm not there yet, but I understand a lot more, okay? My mentor taught me this. Um, now I understand the ins and outs. Now I know how to protect myself. Now I know how to give the proper documents for I-20 scholarships. Now I know how to um, continue managing my staff. Now I know how to regulate um, you know, emotions and teams and different coaches and situations. Now I know how to problem solve. Now I know how to do certain things. There's a lot of things that go into this business that you guys have to understand. So this way, if you get past this stage, then you reach informed optimism. Now, this stage right here, again, you're not a pro, but you understand the business. You know, understand when recruitment season is. You understand uh, when it's not time to recruit. You understand what to offer, what not to offer, and things of that nature. Then after this stage, of course, it's going to be achievement. Right? If you can get through all of this, the last step is the achievement, right? This is when you win. This is when you win. OK, so you went through all this stage and you get all the way to the top and now your achievement. Now the money is starting to flow in. Now you're happy. Now you're, you're you're reaping the dividends of your hard work, your business and all the long hours or whatever that you, you put into opening up your own prep school. OK, this is when you win. All right. But in order to get to this point, you have to go through these things. OK, now we can help you the best way we can with you know some of our videos and some of our you know class courses and things of that nature but at the end of the day guys you have to invest in yourself you got to want this business you're going to have to love what you do you know if you're just doing it for the money um it's, it's you're going to get burned out quick you have to have a passion for basketball you got to have a passion for whatever sport you want to open up your prep school with you got to have a passion to help people out you got you got to have that passion that burn and that desire to achieve higher you want to get out of whatever situation that you're in you have to have that passion and that chip and carry it with you okay if you don't then you're most people are going to fall in the valley of doom that being said guys here's a little graph on um you know how to achieve and win in this business if you like this video like and subscribe and make sure to check the uh description section in this uh video and uh, i'll see you guys next time guys thank you so much